Drave de Mantra Kazhagam is a state political party in the states of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry in India. It is a Dravidian party founded by C. N. Nadurai in 1949 as a breakaway faction from the Dravidar Kazhagam headed by Fayya. Since 1969, DMK has been headed by Karuna Naidi, who has served as Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu several times. DMK holds the distinction of being the first party other than the Indian National Congress to win state-level elections with a clear majority on its own in any state in India. History equals Justice Party equals, DMK traces its roots to the South Indian Liberal Federation formed in 1916, by P. T. Garaya Chetty, Dr. P. T. Rajan, Dr. C. Nate Samudalia and a few others. The Justice Party whose objectives included social equality and justice, came to power in the first general elections to the Madras presidency in 1920. E. V. Ramasamy Naika, a popular Tamil reformist leader of the time, had joined Indian National Congress in 1919, to oppose what he considered the Brahmanic leadership of the party. Naika's experience at the Vicom Satyagraha made him to start the self-respect movement in 1926 which was rationalistic and violently anti-Brahmanic. He quit Congress and in 1935, he joined the Justice Party. In the 1937 elections, the Justice Party lost and the Indian National Congress under C. Rajagopalachari came to power in Madras presidency. Rajorji's introduction of Hindi as a compulsory subject in schools led to the anti-Hindi agitations, led by Fahia and his associates. Equals Dravidar Kazhagam equals, in August 1944, Fahia created the Dravidar Kazhagam out of the Justice Party and the Self-Respect Movement at the Salem Provincial Conference. Dravidar Kazhagam, conceived as a movement and not a political party, insisted on an independent nation for Dravidians called Dravdanad consisting of areas that were covered under Madras presidency. Equals Dravda Mantra Kazhagam equals, over the years, many disputes arose between Faya and his followers. In 1949, several of his followers led by C. N. Nadurai, decided to split from Dravidar Kazharam, after an aged Faya married a young woman Maniamai and appointed his young wife to act as his successor to lead the party, superseding senior party leaders. Until then E. V. K. Sampath, the nephew of Faya, was considered his political heir. And Naderai, on September 17, 1949 along with V. Anadam Chizhayan, K. A. Mathias Higan, K. N. Baz Higan, N. V. Natarajan, E. V. K. Sampath, and thousands of others in Robinson Park in Royapuram in Chennai announced the formation of the DMK. The name of the party was announced by Kudanthe Peranthagai K. K. Nilamigam. Equals M. G. R.'s entry equals. In 1953, actor M. G. Ramakandran joined the DMK, popularized the party flag and symbol which at that time stood for succession from India by showing it in his movies. M. G. R. was a member of the DMK, and he was seen as an icon of the DMK and spread its message through films like Adam A. Penn and Namnad. DMK entered the electoral fray rather unsuccessfully in 1957 with even senior leader V. Anadam Chizhayan losing from Salem although M. Karuna Naidi won after initially having opposed all Indian government and later supporting only those parties which promised to help its secession from India cause. Then in 1962 another prominent actor S. S. Rajendran contested in Thini, Legislative Assembly election, against the then popular Congress leader and Figurajan and won the seat. He is the first actor to become an MLA. Equals 1960s equals. In 1967, DMK came to power in Madras province 18 years after its formation and 10 years after it had first entered electoral politics. This began the Dravidian era in Madras province which later became Tamil Nadu. In 1969, Party General Secretary and Founder, C. N. Nadurai died. After his death, there came the power tuxel between M. Karuna Naidi and V. Anadam Chizhayan. Most of the elected MLAs of DMK, including leaders like Mithi Oligan, Nanjil Mornoharan and the celluloid hero M. G. R. favoured Karuna Naidi as C. M. in preference to Nadam Chizhayan, the senior leader after Anna. To pacify V. Anadam Chizhayan a new post called party president was created for M. Karuna Naidi and V. Anadam Chizhayan was the post of general secretary. 
M. Gia was appointed as the treasurer of the party. During the Indian president election, there was divided opinion between the leaders of Indian National Congress. Though the party nominated Dr. Sanjeev Reddy as the official candidate, the then Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi had suddenly switched her allegiance to Dr. V. V. Jiri, the opposition-sponsored candidate. She had also advised all party elected members to vote according to their conscience. Dr. V. V. Jiri was elected as the President of India with the support of Mrs. Indira Gandhi. This has resulted in the split of Congress party and in October 1969. Senior leaders like Mohaji Desai, Athuli Osh, Kamraja, S.K. Patil and Nigel Ngappa on the one side as Congress and Indira Gandhi, Shankar Dayal Sharma, Jagjeev Van Ram, C. Subramaniam on the other side as Congress. The DMK, led by Mr. Karuna Naidi took a stance to support Mrs. Indira Gandhi in certain reforms like abolition of privy purse, nationalization of banks. In 1971 election, the DMK fought an alliance with Congress and the opposition alliance which consisted of the two senior national leaders, Prajorji and Kamarajar was termed as a strong alliance and was widely supported by media to recapture power in Tamil Nadu. However, the DMK emerged victorious with a vast majority of 184 seats out of 234 and Dr. Kalena M. Karuna Naidi becoming the chief minister for second time. The opposition Grand Alliance could capture only 25 seats. Equals Karuna Naidi's presidency equals. MGR's exit, M. G. Ramakandran who was a popular actor and the then party treasurer had played a vital part in popularizing the party's ideologies. The political feud between MGR and the party president Karuna Naidi emerged as an aftermath of the latter calling himself Mujib of Tamil Nadu. In 1972. MGA called for a boycott of the party's general council. With the crisis falling into call for corruption probe by MGR, he was eventually suspended from the general council. Thus emerged a new party All India Anna Dravda Mantra Kazhagam. The new party ADMK had dropped the parent party DMK in the by-election to the Lok Sabha seat at Dundagal in 1974. Post-MGR, in 1977, DMK lost the assembly elections to MGR's AIA DMK, and stayed out of power in the state till 1989. After MGR's death in December 1987, AIA DMK split into two factions between Janaki and Jayalalithua. DMK returned to power in 1989 state assembly elections and Karuna Naidi took over as chief minister in January 1989. 1991 election was held on the backdrop of DMK government dissolved within two years of formation due to pressure from Rajiv Gandhi, in the same year Rajiv was killed by human bomb during election campaign. Due to DMK pro-Tamil support and government dissolved midway by Rajiv, people presumption was against DMK and the sympathy wave in favor of Ayadankar Euro Congress alliance and the DMK was deprived of any seats in the parliament. In the 1996 state elections, DMK came to power on strength of corruption charges against J.J. Alilitha and the alliance with Tamil Manila Congress, headed by G.K. Mopena and supported by scene actor Rajanikanth. However, in 2001, the AIA DMK, on strength of a strong alliance and the incumbency factor against DMK, came back to power in the state assembly elections. In the 2004 parliamentary elections, DMK formed an alliance with Congress, the Marumalakai Dravda Mantra Kazhagam and the Patali Makalkachi and swept a grand victory, the alliance winning all 40 seats including Puducherry. This enabled seven ministerial posts in the central government and influential power to DMK. Two years later in 2006, the same alliance won in the state assembly elections and the DMK, for the first time formed a minority government in the state with help from Congress. Mr. M. Karuna Naidi become the chief minister of the state for the fifth time. The DMK Congress alliance was also successful in the 2009 parliamentary elections. In the 2011 assembly elections, held in the wake of the 2G scam and allegations of nepotism, the DMK won only 23 seats, 127 seats less than earlier. In the 2014 Lok Sabha election DMK failed to win any seats however by vote percent it was second only to AIA DMK. 
party ideology, DMK, from its inception, wanted to have a separate independent state for the Dravidians. And Nader I wanted a separate Dravidanad but the DMK changed its stance with the Chinese invasion in 1962 and suspended its demand for the length of the war and supported India for raising funds for the war. When the war ended, nationalistic feelings were so strong that DMK gave up the separate Dravda nation idea. The anti-Hindi agitations of 1965 forced the central government to abandon its efforts to impose Hindi as the only official language of the country. Still Hindi imposition continued as Indian government employees are asked to write as much as 65% of the letters and memoranda in Hindi. In April 1974, the DMK government brought in a resolution in the House urging the Centre to accept the Rajmana Committee recommendations on state autonomy and amend the Constitution of India to pave the way for a true federal system. Manifesto, the DMK and its prime opposition party, the ADMK have posted an array of populist schemes targeting the Human Development Index of the state. Most of the schemes are accused to be targeting Ghana larger electoral support. Both the parties have schemes listed in the election manifestos covering various segments of the population involving fishermen, farmers and schoolchildren. Till the 2000s, the parties had welfare schemes like maternity assistance, subsidized public transport and educational grants. After the 2000s, the parties started competing at an increasing level over the distribution of consumer goods. The ADMK government distributed free cycles to class 11 and classes 12 students during its tenure of 2001 Euro 06. The DMK, in competition, promised free color televisions in its manifesto in 2006 elections. The competition continued during the 2011 elections when both parties announced free laptops for school students and grinder, mixer and fans for public. Party symbol the party's election symbol is the sun arising from between two mountains, called the rising sun and also it has a flag consist of red and black color. Election history. Equals Tamil Nadu equals. Equals Puducherry equals, sources, percent votes polled. Media, the DMK party runs two newspaper, one each in English and Tamil, namely the rising sun, and Mirasoli respectively. Kalena TV is a channel started on September 15, 2007 and managed by Kanamozi and Dalu Amal, the daughter and wife of Karuna Naidi. The sister channels of Kalena TV are SRIUV, Sivagal, Saripali, Kalena Asia and Chitram. Controversies Indira Gandhi dismissed the Karuna Naidi government in 1976 based on charges of possible secession and corruption. The DMK government has been indicted by the Sakaraya Commission for Corruption in allotting tenders for the Viranam project. In 2001, the former chief secretary, K. A. Nambiar, and a host of others were arrested on charges of corruption in the construction of flyovers in Chennai. Karuna Naidi and DMK party members were also charged under sections 120, b, 167, 420, and 409 of the IPC and Section 13 read with 13, d, of the Prevention of Corruption Act, but no prima facie evidence was found against him and his son M. K. Stalin. Equals connections with LTT equals, the Interim Report of Justice Jane Commission, which oversaw the investigation into Rajiv Gandhi's assassination, indicted Karuna Naidi for abetting the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam. The interim report recommended that Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M. Karuna Naidi and the DMK party be held responsible for abetting Rajiv Gandhi's murderers. The final report contained no such allegations. Equals allegations of nepotism equals. DMK has been accused by opponents, by some members of the party, and by other political observers of trying to promote nepotism and start a political dynasty along the lines of the Nehru Gandhi family. Vaco who quit the DMK, has been the most vocal. Political observers say that Vaco was sidelined as he was seen as a threat to M.K. Stalin and other family members. Karuna Naidi's nephew, the late Mirasol I. Moran, was a union minister. However, it has been pointed out that he was in politics long before Karuna Naidi became the chief minister in 1969. 
Many political opponents and DMK party senior leaders have been critical of the rise of MK Stalin in the party. But some of the party men have pointed out that Stalin has come up on his own. Stalin was an MLA in 1989 and 1996 when his father Karuna Naidu was the chief minister, and became Shinai's 44th mayor in 1996. In 2009, he was made the deputy chief minister. Karuna Naidi has been accused of helping Mirasol I Moran's son Kalanidi Moran, who runs Sun Network, India's second largest television network. According to Forbes, Kalanidi is among India's richest 20, with $2.9 billion. Another son of Moran's, Daunidi Moran, is a former union minister for communications and IT portfolio. Downeidi was withdrawn from the because Dinak Aran had shown the result of a public poll which read Downeidi Moran is the successor to Karuna Naidi. This created a bloody violence in the Majurai branch of Dinak Aran office, causing the death of three employees. It has been pointed out that Karuna Naidi has hesitated to take action against his erring family members. Karuna Naidi is also accused of allowing Azhajiri to function as an extra constitutional authority in Majurai. The Dinak Aran newspaper case was handed over to the CBI. But the district and Sessions Court acquitted all the 17 accused in that case. So far, the case has not been appealed in a higher court to identify and punish the perpetrators of the crime. His daughter Kanamozi is a member of Raya Sabha. Equals involvement in 2G scam equals, DMK has been facing allegations regarding 2G spectrum scam. The scam was brought into limelight in 2010 when case filed against Minister for Communications and Information Technology A. Raja had been reported. 2G licenses were issued to private telecom players at throwaway prices in 2008. The CAG estimated on the basis of 3G auction that the 2G spectrum scam had cost the government Rs 1.76 trillion. Rules and procedures were flouted while issuing licenses. The CBI in the Supreme Court has since indicated that the factual loss is around Rs 300 billion. One of the party's TV channel stations, Kalena TV was raided by Central Bureau of Investigation officers in connection with the 2G Spectrum scam on February 19, 2011. Karuna Naidi's daughter M.K. Kanamozi arrested and sent to Tihar jail on May 20, 2011 for alleged kickbacks and 2G scam. She has been arrested for the illegal transfer of money to the DMK's official channel Kalena TV DMK MPA Raja is the prime accused in 2G scam and sent to Tihar jail. Kanamozi was subsequently released on bail on November 29, 2011. See also, List of political parties in India, Politics of India. Notes. References. External links, Official website, Election reports by EC.